Um, Scott, first, let me say thank you for the two videos that you've put up recently, apologizing and explaining. It, it really means the world to me. And yes, I do believe that you are truly sorry. And yes, beyond any question, I can and do forgive you for what happened. What I want is pretty much what you want. I want to just let it go. I want us to move past it. No, we're never going to be the best of friends. Um, but being civil is great. And if we can, great. Okay. Um, I don't want to think about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I forgive you. And if I did anything at all, made any comments that were wrong towards you or about you, I'm sorry. And I hope that you can find it in your heart to forgive me too. Um, I want to just put it in the past. I don't want to talk about it anymore. And uh, yes, you are more than welcome to call me by my name. That's, that's never a problem. And when you called me IPQ in the comments, that, that didn't bother me. I understood you weren't comfortable calling me by my name. But please know that you are free to call me by my name. I don't have a problem with that. Most people just call me Trish. Um, I am ready to move on. I'm ready to move past this. I can only hope that you will see this and that this will be over. Okay. Um, for anyone um, who is wondering why I went quiet all of a sudden today and didn't answer messages, um, it's because I got some bad news. Someone that I know or had known for almost 30 years, passed away. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. And when I started thinking, and Scott, this will involve you too. All I could think was, this is so stupid to keep hanging on to the past to keep letting it affect us when life is too short and somebody can be gone at the drop of a hat and you'll never know. And um, it made me realize I am done with what happened in the past and um, I'm, I want to let go of it. I want to move past it. I don't, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. And Scott, if you want to comment on my videos, you can. And if you want to email occasionally, yeah, feel free. Now, like I said, I don't think we will ever be the best of friends. And as far as the trust thing goes, yeah, I got too upset over it. And I got too offended over it, and I am sorry. But I, listening to your video a few minutes ago, I realized it wasn't as intended. And you have trust issues just like anybody else. And I understand that. Because me and my friends have trust issues as well. So I understand that. 
so don't worry about it. So let's just let it go and move past it. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's not bring it up anymore. Because in the end, it's not going to matter. When something happens to any of us, it's not going to matter. Because when we're gone, it's over. There's no chance to go back and say, I'm sorry. So, um, I'm going to use this video that I'm doing for you, Scott, to say something to anybody else out there that I have ever hurt or offended in any way. I am sorry. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I never intentionally hurt anybody. And we all make mistakes. So if I've ever hurt or offended any of you, anybody that sees this, please know that I am sorry. And um, Scott, I think you were very sincere in everything that you said. And I truly appreciate that. And I'm doing this live because um, I'm just not in shape to edit right now. So I'm just kind of just letting it come out as it does. So it may be a little rambly and I apologize for that. But Scott, thank you for stepping up. Thank you for um, admitting that you had done wrong. Thank you for accepting the responsibility of that. And thank you for apologizing. You have now said you're sorry. And you shouldn't have to ever say you're sorry again. You said it once. Well, you've said it in two videos. And you meant it from the bottom of your heart. And I accept that. So please don't ever feel that you need to apologize to me again for what happened. But thank you. For saying what you did. And thank you for meaning it. 